다음은 필리핀 국방대학 교수이신 엘바 크루즈 씨께서 나오셔서 환영의 말씀해 주시겠습니다. 박수 부탁드립니다. 탑방 at malasakit para sa tunay na pagbabago. That was how he won the recent May 2016 elections. It means brave courage and emphatic commitment for true change. I think uh, our chairman this morning says uh, that the Philippines is really on the verge of a lot of change and that has begun with our president. Uh, this is our battle cry and got a guiding principle in our governments and our strategies for national security and development. I also represent the National Defense College of the Philippines Alumni uh, Association, and that is uh, equivalent to our war college. It is a um, civilian educational institution where you cannot become a general without taking that course. Uh, I am an alumni and a board of trustee, and so I'm very familiar with the fact that anything for progress should always anchor itself on national security. And coupled with that is the fact of development, because national security goes hand in hand with development. In the Philippines, You must know that if you will pursue anything, national security actually includes six dimensions. And for the purpose of, of our forum, I think we are well anchored on three dimensions. First, it is anchored on um, social cultural dimension. That includes health security. The second one is science and technology, which obviously we so badly need, because this also includes research and development together with commercialization. If one must export or in turn uh, import into the Philippines. The third uh, dimension, which I think will impact our forum, is the matter of environment. The Philippines believes that environment coupled with climate change is embraced as a national security policy that must always be addressed if our country is to progress. There, there, are, other, there are three other dimensions, and I will just mention them. They are political, economic, and finally, military security. As I said, national security must also be coupled with development. Uh, the reason why we want to be secure in all the six dimensions is the fact that we have an end view of wanting to develop and wanting to be emancipated for all the threats that we all face today. In the Philippines, development is something that uh, we spur and have an open arms policy. Uh, coupled with ease of doing business. With the assumption of our new president, you can rest assured that he is actually welcome everyone into the Philippines for as long as it is legal. Uh, he welcomes everyone, and that includes uh, investors, that includes venture capitalists, entrepreneurs, and everyone who has a, a specific advocacy 
And definitely, I know our organization here today stands on a very strong advocacy for climate change, for going green, for wellness, and for medical um, health. Duterte is committed to participatory governance. That is a word you will hear among Filipinos today because he believes that all stakeholders should be involved and con so that we can all contribute to faster progress. Our president is sincere and determined to make change and he is asking help from everyone. First, from the Filipinos, but certainly he welcomes the help of all our neighbors and all our partners. That, uh, as you well know, he says that we don't want to be a doormat to anyone. So the, will, the Filipinos will not all, only welcome uh, America, but certainly he will welcome all our ASEAN partners. Have a round of applause, please. Finally, there is no issue or challenge to the importance of health, environment, and climate change. We have heard of several adages, such as health is wealth, go green is to go sustainable. We need Mother Earth more than Mother Earth needs us. What is imperative then is to find the appropriate solutions and foster relations to put things into action as we all take responsibility and take our rightful place in making our earth a better place. Kamsa hamnida.